Soy products are not fit for human consumption. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. I want to tell you about the hazards of consuming soy products. Soy oil is in so many different foods, and it is bad news stuff. And as a result of making the soy oil, a lot of sludge is rendered. They turn this into tofu and into protein powders and into other goods, baked goods, that they're used for in cooking. And the whole thing was a scam. They tried to, the soy industry, tried to go after vegetarians and the poor in their initial marketing campaign. And then they allocated part of their funds to provide to research universities to do research to show the healthfulness of soy, the apparent healthfulness. It's not healthy at all. And it's argued that the Japanese and Chinese consume a lot of soy. They know it's no good. It's an anti-nutrient. So they don't consume soy. Now soy binds up minerals in your gut and carries them out with it as waste, so your mineral absorption is lower. It mimics the actions of estrogen. This impacts upon brain function and fetal development, brain function, and really has damaging effects. It's very damaging to the thyroid gland. It's got something in it called protease inhibitors, and this is not something you want to mess around with. So you have to be very careful about your ingestion of soy. Messes up the gastrointestinal tract big time. I used to buy my soy when I was very heavily into using protein supplements from the Ralston Purina Company in 44 pound bags. And I put these in my protein drinks. And I started having the worst gastrointestinal problems that you could imagine. And I finally identified it as a function of the soy protein powder. But that was not a good thing. So I discontinued that and moved on to a milk protein, but I don't really use powders anymore, I'd rather eat, rather eat my meat. So this, these are some of the damaging effects of soy. There's a book out called The Whole Soy Story, which would be interesting reading, and you would find out how the whole manufacturing and marketing thing was a scam, and tofu is not very good for you. That diminishes brain function, it affects the hormone levels, dop dopamine and other hormones, and it's really a, a major, major problem. I think infant formulas are involved in the production of autism because of the soy. I think soy is potentially a very strongly damaging food, and most of these young kids are on soy formulas, soy infant formulas. So you've got to watch out for soy. It's just not a good thing. Stay away from tofu and all the other rendered soy products, and then you'll maintain far better health if you consume meat and real butter and things of that nature. Uh, they argued that soy was involved in lowering cholesterol. Well, you know, of course, I don't care about cholesterol. That's irrelevant to me. It's, but that's one of the health claims they made for it. So that story just goes on and on, and America has really been hoodwinked by the whole soy story, and that's a major, major issue. Okay, that's my tale on soy. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.